Saturday and I'm not putting any makeup on. I'm in my PJs, I'm comfortable and I have my tea and I'm studying. So it took me longer to finish reading the textbooks so I moved this sticker down to reflect my reading time versus my study time. Hey guys, it is day 14 today, I think. Is today the 27th, Karina? Oh man, really? Okay, so today is the is day 15 of my crazy cram. So I need to color this box in too, because that's where we are today. So, um, so that means I'm quite behind on my studying because I actually took a whole two weeks to finish reading three textbooks instead of taking a week and a day or whatever it was I had planned on. Yeah, I'm still okay with that. I worked really, really hard. I did a good job and I read my textbooks faster than I ever have in my whole life. But I missed three days basically within there of studying or doing anything. Yesterday was one of those days. One of the days I had a, I went to a party that lasted all day long. So that day I didn't do anything. And then there was another day a few days ago I came home from work and I had a headache and I was just really tired and so I just lounged and then I went to sleep. So, so I missed three days which, you know, every day counts, every hour counts, but I'm still doing pretty good. So I have a total of 45 days basically from start to finish to finish everything and now I'm um, already on day 15 so I have 30 days left. So that's okay. I, I believe I can do it. Alright, so what I need to do since I am behind on my studying is that all these three hour study squares, so each square is one hour, all of those I'm going to have to do after the fact, so I'm going to be studying more than three hours each day, which I probably would have anyway, honestly, but so for example, today is the 28th. And so I'm going to study for at least three hours using the Study Guide 101 and the cram.com. And then every hour extra that I do past three hours, I'll check off one of these boxes up here until I catch up with where I was supposed to be. And I, I imagine that's going to be quite easy because there's many hours in a day and it's the weekend now. So I'm probably, I'm guessing I'm going to be studying at least nine hours this weekend, but probably quite a bit more than that. What I do is I just use my phone and the stopwatch portion of the phone and I press start when I start studying and then I press stop when I'm taking a break and that way I can see when I've reached the amount of time that I'm supposed to reach. So the advisor at Excelsior emailed me and said that she is wanting to make sure that I am going to follow through and be able to take the tests by the end of this trimester because she's approving me taking the tests but once I commit to it then there's no going back and if I don't take the test then I'm going to get an F on those so it's just really here's where the rubber meets the road where you know I made this plan and I kind of need to do this in order to stay on track and basically don't really have a choice but you know it's pressing that final button to confirm that you're doing it is a little bit scary but I have to do it so basically I have 30 days to fill my brain full of facts and to be able to answer all the questions right hopefully when I get to my tests. www.studygroup101.com Alright, so 
I downloaded all of my immediate downloads from Study Group 101, and then I have them in my downloads folder here still. So they come as a zip folder, and so all you do is extract all. It's going to ask where to put it. That's fine with me, so I'm going to extract it. So then I can go back to my folder and now it's created. So that was 213 zip and now it's created as 213. So these are the unzipped files. And then I have my iTunes open and I want to go to file and add file to library. What I just unzipped. So I'm going to do Control A and highlight everything and then open. And now when I'm going to my, yeah, so it's adding everything. Good. And so now I'm going to go to my library, there's songs, and it's going to be under one of these MSG 101, my study guide 101. So I'm, I'm looking at Zero one infections and communicable. So come over here and scroll up a little bit. Nope, that's not it. Look for zero one. So there it is. And so, and I'm gonna see how far it goes. So it goes all the way to 32 amputation. So then I'm going to um, hit control. Alright, so then you're going to select, I'm holding the control key and I'm selecting these. I have, I did notice that the names are different, so you see all these two, zero two tissue traumas. Um, those are not the same as what's listed here, where I pulled it from. So somehow between um, grabbing, grabbing the, the folder, um, when I did this file and then import basically, um, it changed the name, but there are an equal number of, um, of tracks as there are files, and I just listen to the first few words of each one and know that um, that is correct. They just changed the names. So now I'm going to, I want to create a new playlist. I'm going to call it nursing and um, and 213 which is my class and then let's see if I lost all that. I did so I have to redo it. Okay so now that I've selected what needs to go into that class. I'm just going to drag it into my new playlist. And then there it is. So now I can um, save it onto or listen to it on my iTunes phone app um, as I am driving to work and back. So I might eventually, um, I might, <laughs> all right, giggly, <coughs> Karina, can you come here? What? Hold this like this. <coughs> okay, I'll hold it still, okay? Still? Can you hold it still, please? Yeah.